What's up guys? Huge arcade lot uh, haul here. I picked up locally from an arcade distributor. Um, I got a hell of a deal on this. I damn well quadrupled my money as far as what this stuff's worth and what I paid. Um, let's go over it. thing I picked up is a, um, a pretty minty brand new looking uh, Neo Geo MVS one slot here um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what it's worth and I'm gonna tell you what I paid so that way you guys know the going rate for these games and uh, pickups and uh, you know how nice of a deal I got so the first thing is a Neo Geo MVS one slot this thing is the they make two different versions of this they make a, pl a plastic and a metal so this is kind of like a rainbow metal really nice um, the JAMA connector practically new I mean, this thing is super fucking minty. Uh, I paid 20 bucks for this, and it's r probably worth around 80 to 90 bucks. So, nice deal on this uh, by itself. Next thing I picked up is a uh, JAMA board. This one is Smash TV. Um. I can't get the sound to work on this, but looking at doing my research online, this game actually has an additional add-on for the soundboard, so I believe it's completely working, um, just the sound doesn't work. It's a pretty cool game, not really my kind of, uh, you know, game to like or enjoy. You know, it's not really, it, it's kind of an older game made by uh, Williams. It's sort of like Zombies, uh, what is it, I made a game with Zombies in it on the 360 Live, but the original version, basically. Um, sort of like a running gun. Uh, I don't know, I paid 20 bucks and it's worth around 150. So this is a really nice buy. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Next thing I picked up here, it's supposed to be in, uh, in a blue and uh, black CS C CPS2 A and B board, but uh, it came out of its shell here. This is, uh, which one is this? This is Marvel vs. Marvel vs. Street Fighter for the CPS2 A and B board. Uh, it was actually not working because some jackass actually soldered the wires for the kick harness directly onto this. So I had to actually remove this whole entire kick harness and replace it with a new one. Luckily, I had a, a spare kick harness at the house. It was a bitch to fix this, but uh, I did fix it. So now I got my punches and kicks. Um, really nice board. I paid 20 bucks. Uh, this game retails for about, I would say, 65, 70 bucks. So another nice pickup. Next one I picked up here is a CPS2 board. Um, this is X Men Ch Children of the Atom, uh, U USA CPS2 A and B board here. Um, this is a pretty nice board. Pretty common, but a nice addition to my CPS2 collection. Um, pay 20 bucks. This game retails for about 50 bucks. So this is a really nice uh, addition as well. Next board I picked up here, Marvel vs. Capcom, CPS2, A and B board. Really nice condition. Um, this game's pretty expensive. It runs about 80 to 100 bucks. Um, I paid 20 bucks, so it was a really nice addition to my CPS2 collection. <laughs> Alright, now let's move on to the Neo Geo stuff. First game I picked up, Puzzle Bobble for the Neo Geo MBS. Really cool, kick-ass puzzle game. Um, I'm sure you've played it, you know, it's, you know, you're the little dinosaur at the bottom and you shoot the, the balls up with the colors. Pretty cool game. 20 bucks. Now, that's pretty much the going rate. Uh, it's a bootleg, so... It's not original. As you can see, there's a, a fake EEPROM in there. This isn't the original card. This is a bootleg. The, the original will run you about 50 but uh, I paid 20 bucks for this. I didn't know it was a bootleg because I bought everything in a lot. Turns out, luckily, this was the only bootleg. So this is probably one of the only games I got ripped off on because I wouldn't have even spent $20 on it if I knew it was a bootleg. But nonetheless, it plays fine, um, and I don't have it, so it's fun. You know, the missus likes it, so it's cool. Alright, 
Next game I got here, Neo Geo MVS, the King of Monsters, King of the Monsters. This is a pretty common MVS title. Um, it's uh, rare, it's obscure and uncommon as a as a genre. Basically, you play um, like dinosaur, like King Kong or fucking like Godzilla, and you walk around, and you beat the shit out of other animals. It's it's kind of out there, far fetched, um, weird title. Relatively common, I would say it runs maybe 30 bucks, and uh, I paid 20 so it's a pretty nice addition to my MBS collection, for sure. Next one I picked up, Prehistoric Isle 2. Um, basically, I'm not going to keep saying this, I got all the Neo Geo cartridges for $20 a piece. Um, luckily, he had Prehistoric Isle 2, this is an original MBS um, label, all original cart. This game is very expensive. This game's going to run you about $110 to $120. And um, I already have it. So I bought it just to make some of my money back. So this game right here is going to get me $120 back of my $300 that I spent on all this crap. So this game alone almost pays for half of what I paid total for all this stuff. So it's a great, a great, great haul for me. Next thing I picked up, two copies of uh, Metal Slug for the Neo Geo MBS. Um, I don't own this game, so I uh, was happy to buy two. I bought them both for 20 bucks each, and they sell for about 50 each. So I'm going to obviously sell one and keep the other. So just prehistoric aisle two and uh, Metal Slug, uh, that's going to make me about 170 bucks back. Now this is a game that's going to put me over my uh, my total spent. Strikers 1945 Plus. Original cart, really, really nice. Um, this game retails for about 125 Very rare, really good shmup. And I happen to already own it. So for $20, I'm gonna make back 100 bucks. So it's a really nice buy. Those three games alone, Metal Slug, Prehistoric Isle, and uh, Strikers, that's gonna make me my 300 bucks back uh, for the most part, so it's really nice. Next game I picked up, Puzzle de Pawn. This is a pretty common card, not too expensive, uh, not too cheap. Uh, pretty good game. It's similar to Puzzle Bobble, same kind of game. So, uh, yeah, all original. Checked it. Looks really nice. Definitely a good pickup. I would say it retails for like $40, $50. Uh, actually, let me, let me check my uh, the Neo Geo app because... I don't know for sure what that one's worth, and I don't want to lie to you guys, so let me just pull it up really quickly. Puzzle de Pawn is worth around 60 bucks, so that was a nice one. Next game I picked up for 20 bucks is uh, Ninja Combat here. Ninja Combat's a pretty common title. Um, it's a beat em up. Pretty cool. You play the role of uh, you know ninjas and stuff like that. Obviously, hence the name. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I personally enjoy it. It's a very affordable game, coming in at around twenty-five to thirty bucks. But uh, yeah, I paid twenty bucks. Definitely a nice addition to the collection. <coughs> now this game, this game right here, I've been looking for for months. Have never found it. I found it one time and the guy wanted $150 for it. That's the average going rate for this game right now. And that game is Ganryu. Um, this is one of my top 10, easy top 10 favorite Neo Geo MVS titles. I've been dying to get it and I'm so happy that I found it. Um, it's a great, unique game. It really reminds me of uh, Zen Key FX for the PC FX. It's sort of like um, a side scrolling platformer, but it's just really unique to the Neo Geo. Um, titles. There's nothing like it and it's easily, even, maybe even my top five. Very tough game though, but a lot, a lot of fun. And uh, not only did I get one, but I got two of these games. Um, this one, the label's got to get glued back on, but it is original. Um, so I'm going to be selling uh, this one down here for probably, I don't know, like a hundred, a hundred and uh, twenty, something like that. So, yeah. Got two of these. This one, uh, the, the one I'm keeping, really minty. Lovely, lovely title. Um, this one's going to stay with me for a long, long time. Uh, definitely, definitely 
show you gameplay on video on this title right here for sure. This is a kick-ass fucking game. One of my favorites. Can't wait to show you. So I got two of those. So basically, Strikers, Metal Slug, Ganryu, and Prehistoric Isle 2. I'm going to easily $400 for those games. And I pay $300 for the whole damn lot, so it's a great deal. Not only that, but I got a bunch of mini marquees here. Um, I got Ninja Combat. I got Arrow Fighters 3. I got Samurai Showdown 2. Fatal Fury Special. The Metal Slug Marquee, which is really, really, really sought after. A really nice addition to the Metal Slug um, cart. It will help me definitely sell this in the future if I want to. Um, Fatal Fury 1. And the, the best one. The Prehistoric Isle Mini Marquee. This is a huge find right here. People will kill people over this thing right here. <laughs> and then I got the King of Fighters 98 Marquee. But as you can see, this one is uh, in Spanish. Elige de 1 and 2. Muenes de Juegar. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool though. The last thing I got to talk, I talked this guy into throwing in. If you take a look, if you go up a little bit, boop, 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 boop. got a new marquee up here, and this one is fucking awesome. Look at that. So that's awesome. Nice, nice addition to my forever growing wall of Neo Geo artwork here. <laughs> so. All right, guys. Well, I just want to show you. Oh shit! The hall. Nice collection of shit. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's it for me. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to brag about my findings or anything like that. I just, I really want you guys to know what the going rate is for some of these titles, and um, you know, not only that, but the fact that you know, with some hard work. You know, you could find these things for next to nothing like I did. Um, you know, easily make your money back, um, profit if you want. You know, you just got to kind of search around locally. Um, I was lucky enough to find this guy um, online. And it was, at, it was actually at a car show um, where they were selling car parts. And he had an arcade um, stand. <laughs> so it was just out of the blue. But, you know, I mean... It could happen to anyone, so just keep your eyes open for these kind of things and uh, know what to look for, and you definitely could score good uh, good things. All right, guys, check out some gameplay video. I'm going to definitely do Ganryu, Ninja Combat, um, Metal Slug, Strikers. If I, I, think I, did, I don't think I did that one yet. Maybe I did. But, yep, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good uh, weekend.